Yeah, and with uh, devices like these. Yeah. This, this obviously is, uh, is sold as an air blower, but can this, I mean, sometimes you also need to move the hydrogen around mm -hmm. or other gases. Can, can this also handle hydrogen? Uh, no, this is not possible no? because this is designed for air. If mm -hmm. it's designed for hydrogen, um, few other design criteria uh, need to be considered. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, hydrogen has a very low modular weight mm -hmm. and therefore typically turbo blowers with very high speed or clock compressors are used in this kind of application okay, so on the anode side. So, so that means the, the, the side channel uh, principle is not much used for hydrogen. Uh, uh, it's uh, not at all used at all. <laughs> for, for the hydrogen side, exactly. Um, if you have a very low modular weight, the pressure, the delta P goes down, and then this is not enough anymore. Okay, um, and just maybe to, to, to fan that out, so air um, and any... Oh, you, you guys just specialize this on air uh, supply or cathode blowers in fuel cell systems. This is particularly for that. Just Correctly, yeah. Okay. This um, pump here is particularly designed for that. Um, we are the first generation mm -hmm. because, as I said, we started in 2005. Um, this is not exclusively for the fuel cell business, but the main purpose was to serve as a stationary, as a cathode blower in stationary fuel cells. And uh, is, it's, is it widely used already? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, wonderful. Yeah, this, this is very interesting. I mean, uh, you know, as, a, as engineers, they source these products, they, they think about what variant to take, and you have all these things. So thank you very much for taking the, the time to e explain this uh, to us. And I know that uh, Becker has been uh, involved in the air supply of fuel cell systems for a longer time already. So mm -hmm. um, that's, that's good. I would like to see companies hanging on to build the industry and also profiting from that. So it's good that you're now in the second generation already. And yeah, well, uh, we are focusing on a green future and there are lots of diesel, diesel generators which need to be replaced in the future. And uh, I personally am also pretty confident that we see some uh, small heat electricity combined units in any households, residential, commercial applications, and those possibly work with fuel cells. Yeah. And with uh, devices like these. Yeah, exactly. Well, Mark, thank you very much for taking the time to show us this. Thank you for taking us inside your product and also understanding the difference between blowers and compressors. <laughs> so.